Would you be prepared to step in and take the reins if it came to that, though? I don't, I don't think that I've any wish to take over from the PM. I think is doing a fantastic job. I tell you this, one thing that uh, working closely with the Prime Minister does is cure you completely of any lingering shred of ambition to want to do that, that task. I have an absolute admiration for the way she's going about it. But what if the deal stands more chance if she does step down? I think that the deal needs to be looked at on its merits and I think people should respect and uh, recognise the enormous amount of work that our Prime Minister has put into this. And, you know, whenever I've talked to her, what I've seen is a woman who's motivated by the national interest getting the best deal for this country by nothing else. Will we get indicative votes next week? We'll be get it, having a, a motion on uh, Monday, as we're required to do under law on European matters. A number of amendments have been tabled to that. We're going to have to see which amendments the Speaker selects and then what view the House comes to on those. Do you know of a plot, though? Do you know of someone trying to give her a deal, take it or leave it, please, please leave, you have to go? Well, you'll have to talk to other people, not to me, about uh, rumours of plots, I'm afraid. I mean, I, 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 I don't have, I'm not attracted by plotting. I don't have time for plotting. I've been working on papers this weekend about how to support the deal, how to present the arguments to get it through Parliament, and how to carry on the preparations for an orderly departure from the European Union. That's where my focus is. You're not aware of anything, though? You'll have to talk to people who are allegedly behind rumours, but uh, I've learned to take rumours in the papers with a bit of a pinch of salt over the years. Thank, thanks very much.